So our Jeep has arrived and this is it. <laughs> this is Hazir. Yes. He's going to be our guide today. And this is our ride. <laughs> Let's go. This is so cool. <laughs> so high up. This is Hazir's contact if you want to do the safari. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is all the information, guys. Off we go. This is a really big Jeep. We're really high up. We're like in a lorry. We're just going to stop off and get some water now because it is super hot today and we're going to have a small bit of water with us. Oh, I nearly fell, but we stopped off here at a small shop. Daniel, how many get do you want? Two. Two big ones? Do you want one? Yes, I'll be back. Okay. Uh, no, no, it's okay. I'll buy it. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll pay together. Hold oh, no, on, that's perfect. Yeah, no, I just was wondering. Oh, Thank you. Cute. That's good. Welcome. Thank you very much. So I was just asking there if this opens for when we're at this fair because it'd be cool to be able to stand up and look out. But it does open, but it's just right now, he said it's very hot, so it's better to have the shade. Small bit to go now, we've been driving for about 30 minutes and we haven't got there yet. We still don't know what the place is called. <laughs> We'd have to ask yet, but um, I'm not sure if it's a well-known national it's, park or if it's, it's a lower It's a safari that a lot of people go to, but you just dip one So we're going to start the safari now. He's just getting our tickets for us. And I wish I brought my cap. I forgot my cap. I actually bought a cap for this kind of situation and it's gone. Can we open this now or? Oh, it's open. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Jeez, that was quick. <laughs> oh, that's unreal. Oh, wow. look at the seats. Oh my God, everything's changed. Yes, yeah, so you go to the back seat, it's better. Okay. Back seat is better, that's right? That's so cool. Jeez, you've done so much. That was really fast. <laughs> I got such a shock. Right, so where do you want to put this? In Bag in the corner, yeah. And here? Yeah, perfect. Do you want me to put this down? Is it hot for your bum? No, my bum is okay. It's going to be class. Look at our view now. We can be able to stand up here like this. Hot. So hot. I hope to come into the crocodiles. Yeah. Oh, crocodiles. Yes, we do. I hope, but I don't sure. Okay. But on the top of the rock, sometimes it's coming to the crocodile is outside. Okay. I hope I will show you. Layer it up, Julie. But on loads of sun cream because it's extremely hot. I'm so annoyed I didn't bring my hat. Cover my head. I'm just gonna have to use this blanket, I think. But yeah, I got a little bit of heat struck yesterday. I have to be careful today. Is that him on the branch? There's crocodiles yes. here. Oh, I see him. Wait, I need to find my glasses because there's prescription in them. Okay, check my down. Right, he gave us binoculars to help us see. Do you see them? Oh my god, that's so cool. I've never used them before. This is our first time seeing a crocodile. It's really cool. He's just sunbathing. Good start to the safari. Only five minutes in and we've seen a crocodile and Two eagles here, so it's wow. Let me oh see. Oh my god, that is so cool. <laughs> that is a different kind of monkey. A, a legend. A legend monkey. They're really cool. Yeah. Right, so there's these, it's a national Sri Lankan animal called Squella, and they look like squirrels, and they're just sleeping on the tree. It's really cute. How are you able to spot everything when you're driving? So, I will anytime is checking. You're checking everything? Yes, and slowly. <laughs> but, but not but too easy. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. I don't know how you see everything. It's yes. good. It's impressive. Spotted another chameleon, except this time he's really colorful. White, brown, yellow. I see a few colors. I don't know how he spots them. We're very impressed. of elephants behind us. Oh my god, actually, there's so many. Yeah, they're actually walking towards us. Oh my god, I've never seen elephants in the wild like this. It's usually in zoos, so this is really special. Ah, go away. We're going up to them now. Do you see them? I can't get my camera. <laughs> Look, they're coming. It's a very rocky road, but we're in the wild, so it's all good. They're actually coming. Oh my god. The first one is the male. That was so cool, but now we're driving to a place near the water because he said this place right now isn't as green because it's hot season and everything's burning the grass and stuff like that. So we're going near the water now and we might be able to see elephants that are 200 kilos and they're going to be way bigger than the ones he said. So, oh, more here again. Sorry? It's a very small baby in the family. Small baby? Where? Oh my God. 
Dude, you see the small baby? Oh my God. He's tiny. Oh my God, so hard to see. It's so far away, I don't know if I'll be able to get it. It's really far in the distance. That's, yeah, so far, but it's such a small. Like, Behind me here, there's about maybe 40 elephants, but we can't get close to them because we have to stay on this track the whole time. You're not allowed to go onto the grass or anything. But it's so cool, there's like 40 beside the water, all just chilling out. But we can't get over to them, unfortunately. Oh. We just came around the corner there and there is loads again, and a lot of people here as well. Look at all them elephants. When we were coming on this safari, I wasn't expecting to see this much elephants. I thought we'd only see maybe about 10 elephants. But like, this is crazy. Like, oh my God, there's one here and it's absolutely massive. See that one, Julie? That is huge. This is really cool. So normally we can understand into the male, is the male one, is the backside is a curve shape. Okay. Backside is the curve and to the female, backside is the box shape. There's ones here now, we're just driving towards the lake and he said around this time, we might be able to see them bathing and just getting ready because in the evening time, they go back into the jungle. So that's where we're going now, but this is so cool, honestly, having such a great time. Julie's not feeling the best. She's a bit sick, sore belly. Yeah, too much spicy food. I don't think that's the reason. I was just enjoying something here. I don't know. We're having such a good time. Well, I am. So I felt a little ill yesterday and then I went to sleep and I woke up okay. And then I just got really sick again, probably an hour ago. So it wasn't fully gone, whatever it is. But this is amazing. Like I've never seen elephants in the wild. As I said earlier, it's always been in a zoo and not natural. Back home we have so much cows and I usually think they're massive, but they're right beside the elephants now. And it makes them look so tiny, even though cows are massive. One of the reasons, or it could be the main reason why the elephants splash mud on their bodies is for a natural sun cream because obviously the sun is on them all the time. They have no hats, they're chemical sun cream that we use. So they use the mud and it works i mean they're happy out just watching them go about their daily lives is crazy like you we'd never see this in me and daniel's home or part of the world and they all stick together as well for protection during the day and then apparently during the night they separate when they go to sleep and stuff but during the day when they run around they stick together for protection but yeah they're all in a really tight group right now which is really cute look there's actually a one week old baby elephant here which is so sweet and he's he or she is tiny, absolutely tiny. And they're so like tight and close together, the group, and this baby's just in the middle trying to get around. <laughs> so funny. We could sit here for hours watching this. I would sit here all day. So there's a big traffic jam behind us. It's a lot of people and it's also in front of us too. Really crowded. I think a lot of people come here for sunset and it's coming into sunset, so yeah. So our guide said that he, they're very strict here, not going onto the grass and ruining the national park. There's actually a guy back there with a hat on and he's taking photos of any drivers that drive on the grass or do anything that they're not meant to do and then they get banned from the national park. But yeah, they keep a good job of keeping the place very clean and just leaving no trace and making sure it looks all good. Bye bye. So we were just driving back and we spotted these elephants really close by the road. The weird thing that they're doing right now is, but well, they always do it, but we've never seen it before. They clean the grass before they eat it because it's full of dust from the road and stuff. But yeah, you can see them dusting it off. See so he's smacking it with his trunk and then they pick it off. nice now the colors are really cool because it's golden hour and it just looks so nice here it's the best lighting good lighting yeah that's all that matters <laughs> thank you <laughs> we got some corn just from the side of the road oh wow i love corn sweet corn
home. <laughs> we made it back. Oh. Right, thank you so much. Are you happy? Very happy. Oh, my legs are dead. Thanks so much for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank bye, you bye. So much. bye. 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 Oh, the dog's back. Hey, Rex. <laughs> Rex. Hey. 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 end of vlog here we're pretty exhausted from today but it was amazing it was so worth it definitely worth doing but we link everything in the description how to get to tour and all that how much it cost everything will be linked below yeah. so we really hope you enjoyed our vlog today we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye bye